Welcome to Dark Knight Films Reviews and Action Movie Night. Tonight, I will be reviewing Lethal Weapon, released in 1987. Lethal Weapon stars Mel Gibson, Danny Glover, Gary Busey, Mitchell Ryan, Tom Atkins, Darlene Love, Tracy Wolfe, Jackie Swanson, Damon Hines, Ebony Smith, Steve Cahan, Mary Ellen Trainer, Edo Ross, Al Lung, Jack Thibo, and Grandel Bush. Eighth Weapon was directed by Richard Donner. Lethal Weapon was written by an amazing young writer who I have already mentioned on a couple of videos, Shane Black. At this point, he was up on the rise, and uh, he did an amazing job writing this script for this film. This film was produced by Richard Donner himself and Joel Silver. The combination of Mel Gibson and Danny Glover in this film is iconic. I mean, those two, when they got together, they gelled so well in this film. Their chemistry is off the charts. Read them and weep. <laughs> what do you do, sleep with that thing on your pillow? I would if I slept. This is one of the best buddy cop films ever. Gary Busey playing Mr. Joshua is sinister, creepy, and absolutely perfect. The so-called real main villain of the story, Mitchell Ryan, as General Peter McAllister, is, he's, he's pretty good because, I mean, it's Mitchell Ryan. Mitchell Ryan was always good in anything he played in. But um, he's upstaged, of course, by Gary Busey's Mr. Joshua, who was supposed to be just a henchman to Mitchell Ryan, but he's just so damn good as the bad guy that sorry, sorry Mitchell Ryan, you're you're outclassed. And then you have Tom Atkins as Murtaugh's friend, Michael Hunsacker. And he is just his daughter, at the very beginning of the film, played by Jackie Swanson, Amanda, gets a really bad dose of drugs that she uses, and it causes her to hallucinate and dive to her death. The real stars of this movie, other than Mel Gibson and Danny Glover, though, are the excellent family elements with the character of Murtaugh. Darlene Love as Trish, Tracy Wolf as Rianne, Damon Hines as Nick, and Ebony Smith as Carrie are perfect. They are the perfect family. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I'm going to find a father because my name is Roger, and I need to be Maja, and a Sikh, and a Haja, and a Huda Hada Hada. Do you need some help? I am. <laughs> Do they have their issues? Yes, of course they have their issues. Hell, there's a scene in there where um, Marta is on uh, Rianne's ass because she smoked pot in the house. Oh, okay. I'll tell you why. Because now, 
At this moment, beer is legal. Grass ain't. Right or wrong? It's wrong. Right. Right. Now, at this time, this was the 80s, so pot wasn't as free. Um, it was fully illegal everywhere, basically. So, <laughs> but you look at this now and you're like, huh, what? She got in trouble for that? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that, you know. But uh, um, another cast member in this that is just great in this film is Steve Kahn as uh, Captain Ed Murphy. I mean, he is such a cool captain to Riggs and Murtaugh. Hey, Raj, uh, you know, you look younger with the beard. Thanks, Captain. And he gets a lot more time in the sequels, but in this one, he's really good. Mary Ellen Trainer as Dr. Stephanie Woods. I mean, she is really good in her role as well. The whole cast in this thing. Um, anytime somebody gets on screen in this, they get their moments to steal the scenes they're in. Such as Ed Ross playing Mendez. I mean, he comes in for this meeting with McAllister and Mr. Joshua and his reactions and his dialogue in this scene. I mean, normally Ed o. Ross usually plays the just the, the, the kind of character like Gary Busey's playing here with Mr. Joshua. He's playing more normally the, the heavy or the goon, you know, and in this, he just seems to be having a blast playing this character. You guys are out there like fucking Pluto, man. You're gone. If you try anything, you'll have to talk to Mr. Joshua. Yeah, right. Joshua. Yeah, right. I got you. Yeah. Al Long, I mentioned him in my Rapid Fire review. He is playing Endo in this, and this is one of his earlier roles, and uh, he doesn't get a fight scene in this, um, but he does get to torture Mel Gibson for an extended amount of time. But the story on this thing, the investigation, um, unfortunately, um, Tom Atkins, kind of like, kind of like Maniac Cop, he is, uh, he is killed, um, in the film, and, uh, I think his death in Maniac Cop was better, though, because in this one, man, what, what, what kind of way to go down having a, a carton of eggnog in your freaking hands when you get shot and killed. Yeah, not the best of death scenes, but I love Tom Atkins, as I've said in a lot of my other videos. Um, the final fight scene between Mel Gibson's Martin Riggs and uh, Gary Busey's Mr. Joshua is one of the great final fights in movie history. I mean, I, I'm not exaggerating. You go to any uh, fight scene list, it's most likely going to be on a top ten. It's that good of a fight. Um, as I mentioned before, Trace, Tracy Wolf as uh, Rianne and uh, Darlene Love as Trish are the two main standouts of the family. Um, Tracy Wolf as Rianne actually gets um, kidnapped and everything by McAllister and Mr. Joshua, and uh, they have to go on a little rescue mission and everything, and it goes horribly wrong. Um, but you've got Mel Gibson, Danny Glover, Gary Busey, Tom Atkins, Mitchell Ryan, I mean, directed by frickin' Richard Donner. Man is a legend for a reason. One of the great filmmakers that I don't think gets enough credit. 
So, my final review of Lethal Weapon, 1987. I will give this film a 9.5 out of 10. This film started um, the major buddy cop collection of films that would carry on into the mid 80s and early 90s and still are even popular today with films like Rush Hour and everything like that and Shanghai Noon. <laughs> but yeah, but what do you think? What do you think of Lethal Weapon? Do you agree with my review? Do you disagree? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you like this video, do not forget to smash that like, share, and subscribe button because it really does help this channel out a lot. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this action movie night. Uh, please join me tomorrow as we will be going and doing our video game night. Hope to see you then. Thanks for watching.